now that we have the channel created, we need, we need to assign devices to that channel. And what I will do is assign my all device that is running and is working correctly to that channel. And for that, what we need to do is have this as user meta on the device in order to be assigned to the channel. Therefore, I'm going to be here. I'm going to create a new entry with the value, with the key flip channel. And I will assign the value of the channel. In the moment that this configuration is safe on the device, the fleet is going to pick up that device. And now that device is assigned to the channel ARM64 Telescape development. And well, because the device and the channel has the same exactly state, all the containers are the same, all the configuration is the same. The device is now consuming the, the channel configuration and because it's the same, it's going to be updated in just seconds. We want an easy way to share or create more devices that are going to be assigned to the channel. The easiest way is to create a flash image that has already all the configuration. And when somebody starts a device, it's going to be automatically assigned to the channel. And therefore, it's going to get all the updates that the channel has. For that, we are going to go to the download image and we are going to select the release candidate, the ARM Raspberry Pi 64, which is the architecture that is needed. And we are going to pre-assign some user meta. And that user meta will be fleet channel. This is a JSON file and the tail tail enable flag improve that means that all the devices that are flashed with this this image that i will create are going to be reassigned with this user meta and therefore they are going to be assigned to the arm thing scale development channel and they are going to have TLSK enabled by default. We download this, this is going to take a while and the next step is going to be only flash this and we are done. 